Make sure you guys go check out my new merchandise available in the link in the description below. What's going on, my Super Saiyan Paul? You're back at again. We got the Peace Maker, and now we're about to do some more missions here where a lot of interesting drama is about to be involved. I just accidentally pulled the trigger. Oh my god! Whoops. Oh, okay. Basically, what happened was, let's see, my controls. I set them to my Call of Duty controls, so like R2 and stuff for on the opposite things. I just shot a guard because I misfired my weapon. Great, great, absolutely amazing. Okay. Let's see. Yellow Crimson Guards all over the place. There's some complaint that I have about those guys. I didn't like the fact that, okay, now they're yellow, they're stronger. It's just a reskinned version of the Crimson Guard and they can take one more hit. It's not necessarily the most creative idea. I mean, there's a lot of games that do that, and especially at this time period of video games. But I feel like they should have given them some new abilities or something that actually mixed up the fighting because... Something that I don't think we ever got in Jack and Daxter, and this just came to mind, is like, imagine we fought another version of, like, Dark Jack. I don't think they ever really did that concept, um, face to face. Like, in the first game, there was Gaul and Maya, and with that, they fought through a robot. With the second game here, we fought Metalhead Leader, and he was a giant monster, multiple phases of the fight, didn't necessarily work out the way we thought. Then there was the third game with Errol, and... I don't think we've ever fought like a Dark Jack Warrior type thing, and I think what if one person out there besides Jack was able to harness the abilities and we get to fight another version of that? That would be so epic. But yeah, if these guys had some sort of abilities or new suits of armor or something like that with like uh, jet packs and stuff on the streets like they do in the other areas, that would have added a bit more of a reason not to kill these guys and more things that like, involve laws. Like look at this. I can cause explosions and stuff, and it's weird how the laws here work. I used to think if you accidentally bump into a person's car, they would, like, try to wreck you. But the Crimson Guard, they basically work like a real-life police. They don't give a shit until you bump theirs, then they're gonna go and kill you. They have four? Stay away. Anyway, we're heading over here. Yeah, 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 young money, yeah, yeah. Headbanger. Takeda. Who's been smooching with my brother. Not really, she's just been hoeing around while well, Jack was going, she needs to find some dick. And I'm gonna have to deal with this. I'm gonna have to do with it, deal with this the right way, so. Heading inside. Kira, where are you at? Bring your ass here. Well, if it isn't the dark eco-freak. Where's Kira? Don't worry, I'm keeping a close eye on her. You're the talk of the town, Jack. You give the people hope. How pathetic. I would have enjoyed killing you in prison, but now it'll be so much more fun to take you on the track in front of the entire city. I can hear the roar of the crowd now as everyone sees their hope die. It's good to have you back, Daddy. Yes, it's nice to be free again. You know, Kira loves a winner. Someday she'll be my mechanic. Stay away from her. <laughs> <sighs> Errol's the best racer I've ever seen. He's not what you think. And you're a good judge of character? Ha! Look at you! People say you get angry and change. Besides, the Jack I knew wouldn't be working for a guy like Crew. I need Crew's connections to fight the Baron. Without my... You know what? Do it your way, and I'll do it mine. Just don't come crying to me when the walls fall down. Uh, Jack, buddy? <laughs> Where you going there, pal? Jack? Jack? Attention all drivers. The class two races will begin soon. Now what are we gonna do? You'll have to drive for the team, Daxter. We need this win to qualify for the final championship. How hard can it be? Just uh, hold on tight and point the thingy where I want it to go, right? And then there's the other thingy that makes it go fast. Fast is good. I can do this. I'm ready to race. Daxter here to save the day from meth head Kira and her smashing arrow behind the court curtains. Anyway. And the control is basically the same. Like, I feel like there wasn't really that much of a difference, but it felt like it looked just, um, aesthetically, it felt like Daxter was flying all over the place because it feels weird. Like, his character is, fl like, flinging around the vehicle versus Jack, who was able to keep, like, a steady footing. Whoa. Okay, let's see this. Gonna master the break around these turns. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. 
Oh, there is actually a bit more drifting. Maybe I'm wrong, or just because I'm rusty, but I'm missing a lot of the stuff that I normally would have hit. Second lap, so far, so good. Good thing about these races is that they're fast. I'm just gonna have to build some speed and distance on these guys, and then at the end, I'm gonna wait it out, because the last thing I need is another precursor orb failure, like it did in the original one, and have to restart the entire game at the, from the very beginning, follow my own Let's Play guide, and then get all the way out there for the next episode, so... That's actually the worst. I've had to do that multiple times. Okay, we're going pretty fast. Gotta go fast! Sonic! Here. Worst part is, let's say you get to lap number four, and then you decide to pull that ball as you move off. Pulled it off perfectly every other lap, and then something like that ends up touching you just the slightest bit, and you die. That was super rage-inducing as a child. You know, now I'm a pro, so I think I'm saying. You're on the fourth lap, and I think second is quite a ways behind us. Imagine I just predict the future here. So like as soon as you line it up, you take your thumb off of the analog stick. Ever got too much air and hit the ceiling there and died? I have. Not fun. Not fun at all. Rage inducing. Final lap. Alright, so I'm gonna have to stall for time at the very end. Damn, he's got a pretty far back. It's actually a good thing to drive sloppy because if you go too fast, it's a done deal. Unless you're trying to get the precursor orbs right away and do all this cheating stuff beforehand, which I think you could. I don't know what's the maximum precursor orbs you can get, like at a certain point of the game. I don't like. I don't know what time of the game you're gonna be able to get like dark jack and stuff, but pretty interesting. And now we go. Now there's a handsome winner. You did it, Daxter. You helped us qualify for the big race. Did you ever doubt? I backseat drive for Jack all the time. Hey, when do I get the winner's big kiss? Maybe later, if you're a good boy. Hey there, we, uh, we showed those class two losers a thing or two, huh? I saw. You drifted a little high in the turns a few times, but you hung in there. I'm proud of you, Dax. Really? Yeah, you did great. No? We did great! Right, partner? Ah, oh, Tess is bae. Tess is bae. Kira. You, you, you dumb method crackhead. She's like from Borderlands. Basically, she's Scooter in this game. That's where she went from me. Look at that. Now we have posters for Errol all over the place. I thought Errol was like a really decent rival in terms of physicality in this game. Like, I thought he was like the perfect opposite of Jack in terms of like armored up guard and all that stuff. And even his stature of where he was in the ranks of the Crimson Guard. So, I thought he was a decent rival. And the fact that he's trying to steal our woman and he's trying to race and show us all of these things. It was great. Unfortunately, we didn't get a real battle against him in person. And that's what I kind of regretted because it was like... If we did get that, I think that would have been awesome. We get that later on, and it's not exactly what you would have expected it to be. But I would have loved to put a bullet into Errol's head instead of having him commit suicide, basically. So, yeah, at the end, he was pretty stupid. All right, we're headed to Torn's area. Torn has one of the most badass icons of all time. I think when I was a kid, I was like, oh my god, there's a knife. There's a knife. Ah, ma'am, don't look at the game. I'm, I'm sorry. Because I was not, I was barely even allowed to play T-rated games, like 007 and stuff like that. Nope, 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 nope. very strict, mommy. Anyway, heading inside. What do we got? Bring me my women. The Baron is still up to his old tricks. The underground got word that several Crimson Blast bots are zeroing in on the hideout here. They're armored bombs which seek out targets. If any of those blast bots reach this place, we're dead. Ah, what are you worried about, old man? You're almost dead anyway. Well, if you'd taken better care of yourself, I wouldn't be in the state I am now. Take out those blast bots before they reach the hideout, Jack. They have proximity defenses, so do be careful. Good hunting!
one of the things that I always wanted to do as a child was always to go back in time or something and meet my younger self. I don't know if a lot of people have this type of thought all the time, but like imagine you can go back in time. I don't know how old you guys are watching this right now. I know a lot of you guys are my age, but some of you guys might be younger. And it's like, okay, we gotta get these blast spots, but, but yeah, imagine as old as you are could go back to when you were like maybe six years old and how would that interaction go? Like with Samos right there, I always wondered, hey, what would I say to myself? How would I look at myself? Would I be proud of the person that became or like would I become everything I thought I was going to become? It's always trippy stuff like that. Never get into my, my feelings a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, I'm okay. Alright, this is gonna blow. I can't take any hits on one of these guys, which is gonna be weird. But like, is like, there's no Crimson Guards in this region. Oh, we have to get the blast spots. There's gonna be one coming in this direction, and the sentry gun is like right there, about to destroy me. This is gonna destroy my vehicle. Yep. Oh no! He just out of spite. What a dick! He saw I was gonna go for a vehicle, and he blew it up. Oh my god! I'm about to be chased. Okay, I can't take any hits. I'm just gonna take a very strong vehicle here. No! Oh my god! Okay. We got Vulcan shots. We got blast shots. This is not... Not very good. I don't know how I'm gonna survive. Imagine I die right here. I gotta redo the whole mission. No! I'm low on ammo as it is! Okay, he's going in this direction. So I'm gonna just do this. Try not to lose the vehicle. Oh. oh, that was so bad. I did not expect it to just drop dead on me. Oh, that was really bad. Okay, let's grab a zoomer. Let's just rush this one. I mean, you're free to get like three hits. I think you're only taking one hit on average from one of these guys. But, hey, fair, man. I got 60 bullets in each one. I forgot how I did this before, but it is manageable. It's just right there. The vehicle just barely grazed the guy and dropped it on me. There we go. Nope. I love how all the guards right now, they only have their shock sticks. That was just a hit that was not supposed to happen. Alright, let's grab this big vehicle. Wow, they're just coming in storms. I love how they never explain the stealth thing. You run up to a wall and you dodge all of the guards. Like, come on, man. That's pretty, pretty useful. But I think the Crimson Guard design, I actually love it. It's absolutely amazing. I think these guys are awesome. For character designs and showing tyranny. Very, very good portrayal of this. Okay. We got the far off one. Now if we get these two, it's actually better to get these two over here because I think they show up at the same time. So... Oh my god, a vehicle just went flying. Yo, these vehicles are gonna be the enemy, man! I think this mission is definitely a blast of cheese mission. Oh god, somebody's shooting at me. Normally. This is 100% a blaster cheese mission. I don't think you could really try and do this one without doing the blaster cheese because damn, yo. Very, very tough. Imagine trying to do this mission with the scatter gun. Good luck with that. Alright, here he is. Ram this into him. Once again. Doing the same exact thing three times. Hurt myself from my own goddamn. Yo, imagine the guy shot me. Oh my god, no, 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 no. What? Finally! Now they guys learned how to shoot, really. Oh man. Botka boo boo, let me in. Let me in. You bitch asses did so much shit. Where are they at? Where are they at? Difficult ass mission. Anyway, I'm taking over the underground. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Smash that like button for more. I'll be seeing you guys then. Take care. Peace.